Hey guys, Lorena Magana here with New Filmmakers Los Angeles. Today, I'm talking to director Dave Schwepp about his documentary, Bo. Let's take a look at a clip from the film. I was diagnosed with uh, esophageal cancer. The doctors and I get uh, three, six months to live. I uh, found out about the ayahuasca. It's a bark and a leaf, and they boil it together. It's a hallucinogen. From that expanded consciousness, it has found for many people what it is that can heal you. That plant could very well save your life, and that's what I'm looking for. Bo is a story about a man who ends up with esophageal, finding out he has esophageal cancer and only three to six months to live. He ends up, instead of taking chemotherapy and any of the regular forms of therapy for cancer, he decides to go to the jungle to a shamanic center to experience ayahuasca. And ayahuasca is a sort of medicine of ancient times with the Mayans and the shamans and uh, so Bo experienced this medicine down in the jungle and we filmed him on ayahuasca and before and after and kind of showed his road to redemption uh, so to speak. How did you come up with the concept behind your documentary? Well, originally I was a DP on a film called Stepping Into the Fire, which was all about ayahuasca and transformation and had a few different storylines. And Bo came along for the ride because he had cancer and he said he wanted to just kind of experience life. He had no intention of being in the film. Um, and he said, I'll fly down there on my own bill. I just want to carry your tripods, take pictures, whatever it, whatever it takes. And the people I was working with on Stepping Into the Fire said, well, he could be a great portion of that film. Stepping Into the Fire came out, and that was a great film, and I was a director of photography of that. But the story of Bo was never told quite the same. And after the time passed with Stepping Into the Fire, I was able to really kind of tell a more touching story about my uncle, Bo Hitchcock. How did you come to collaborate with your fellow director, Kelly McCoy? Kelly McCoy is a star editor and uh, basically he actually was not with me during the shooting of, uh, of Bo in the jungle or, or in Fort Lauderdale um, but uh, there was so much you know there had already been another film made with some of the same footage and he was my uncle so it was too close to home for me to kind of really sit there and go frame by frame to tell the story. So I handed it to him and he really was so instrumental in telling the story in post that I gave, I shared the director credit with him because I feel it was only fair. Because Bo is your uncle, was it difficult for you to be attached to this documentary? It was difficult being around my uncle knowing he was going to die and knowing, not knowing how long that would be and knowing that this was like seemed like it was kind of his last hurrah. But at the other token, I felt like we were both enabling each other to kind of have a really positive experience through it all. I was giving him a good exit, so to speak, and he was helping give me a fantastic material, an excuse to make something that would kind of make the best side of him live on forever, I think. Was your uncle able to see a cut of this film? We finished the first cut of Bo, and Bo was still hanging on, and he actually flew, spent his own money and flew a lot of the family members and rented a movie theater in Fort Lauderdale and showed it to all of his, uh, his peers, his family. He had also just that same week had won a Lifetime Achievement Award for being a, uh, a criminal attorney in South Florida. So it was a big culmination. He brought everybody together. He flew everybody out that couldn't afford to be there. Had this fabulous party with mimosas, and and he watched this this cut of Bo. What's next? Well, right now I'm big on promos. I'm working on um, promos for uh, new Cinemax's new show Banshee, which is Alan Ball's new show, and executive producer Greg Atanas, who is a friend and client of mine, and 
doing a lot of stuff for Fox and um, going to open some windows for some other feature films here coming up pretty soon, I think. So.